Jodi was 22 years old when she was left alone with her three-year-old daughter Holly. Her husband, who was not much help to the family, was sent to prison. After that, his mother threw her daughter-in-law and child out on the street. Jodi rented the most simple apartment and barely made ends meet. There was hardly enough money for rent, a garden for Holly, and the cheapest food and clothes. Then suddenly Peter came into their lives. He lived next door and saw that the lonely and tortured woman was literally surviving with a child in her arms. He sympathized with her and began to help her a little. Sometimes he bought them groceries or some toys and clothes for Holly, sometimes he helped repair what he could. Jody gratefully accepted the help. Little by little they became friends and the woman began to trust her kind neighbor. Soon their friendship turned into a romantic relationship and two years later they were married and became a family. Holly had known since childhood that Peter was not her real father, but somehow she immediately began to call him daddy, and for good reason. Holly did not always find common ground with her mother, for she was a tough woman and often punished Holly for any of her faults or mischief. Peter was the exact opposite of her. He was soft and kind by nature and never crossed his wife. But he spoiled little Holly, and always stood up for her. Even in the park or at the movies on weekends he went with the girl alone, as Jody was as always has no time. Peter provided for the family as well. He worked as a welder for a manufacturing company and had a good salary. All in all, Jody and Holly and Peter lived well, got along with each other, and had very little need of anything. A little more than 10 years passed and tragedy came to the family. Peter had a stroke. The hospital brought him back from the dead, treated him and sent him home. But he was a completely different person, not the same cheerful and easygoing man. One arm was almost impossible to control. He could hardly speak, rarely got out of bed and could walk just a little holding onto the wall. Jody became the sole breadwinner in the family, and 15-year-old Holly had to become her father's primary caregiver. The girl was growing up smart and already understood everything. She did not go out with her friends, and immediately after school she hurried home, because she had to help her father. In the evenings, Jody replaced her daughter at her sick husband's bedside, but she did it less and less willingly. Holly was not offended, but over time she began to notice her mother's delays at work, her evening absences on some far-fetched business. And then one night her mother didn't come home at all. She called and said that she were in a rush at work and she would be up all night doing reports. But Holly knew there was no emergency report. She had seen her mother come home several times in a beautiful new car. One day they had a frank conversation, and Jody confessed that she had a man and he was asking her to live with him. Moreover, he has nothing against Holly and has his own business in a large house. Jody told her daughter that she was going to file for divorce because she was a normal woman in her prime, and she could no longer live with a cripple. Her mother suggested Holly to move in with her tomorrow. Holly was silent for a while, pondering her mother's offer, and then she said that if her mother wanted to move out, she should do it now, but she would stay with her father. Jody spent a long time trying to convince her daughter that she was being unreasonable, but then she gave up. She packed her bags and moved out. Of course, Jody was not the kind of mother who left her children to the mercy of fate. She visited her daughter every two days, bought groceries and things for her daughter, and left money for expenses. But she lived where she was happy. Jody's leaving was met by Peter with no emotion. Maybe he had already guessed something like that. Or maybe he just realized that for a healthy and beautiful woman he couldn't give anything. But all was not so hopeless with his health. As time passed, his speech became clearer, he could move his arm, and he slowly began to go out on his own. Holly studied hard and was able to go to medical school. She decided to tie her life to the profession of doctor to help people. Her dream was to become a rehabilitation therapist. The girl promised herself that she would never leave her father under any circumstances. As it turned out, a child's heart remembers kindness and love longer than an adult's. Her daddy used to take her to the park when she was a little girl. And now, many years later, she takes him there too. Holly sees with hope and joy how her ailing father comes more and more to life day by day. She still has a long way to go before she becomes a doctor, but she has practically got her first patient back on his feet. But in this case, the main medicine was not the pharmacy remedies, but her daughter's love for her father. That's all for now. 
Please write in your comments what you think of what Jody and Holly did. Best wishes to you and your family and see you all again.